Please note that your computer needs to have a 40 gigabits per second Thunderbolt interface or a USB 4 interface to be able to use it. Before formally installing the product, test whether the power supply is compatible. Insert the 24-pin power cable into the 24-pin port on the motherboard. Connect the power and turn on the switch. Check the power supply test light. A continuously lit green light indicates that the power supply is working normally. If the green light does not illuminate, it means the power supply is incompatible and you should replace the power supply. Install the bracket. Install the connector card according to the alignment notch. Another motherboard is installed on the connection card. Secure them with screws. Before securing the ATX power supply, first connect the 24-pin power cable to the 24-pin port on the motherboard. Then secure the power supply with screws. Before installing the graphics card, remove the protective cover from the gold fingers. Please identify the PCIe power cable and insert the 8-pin power connector into the 8-pin port on the graphics card. Align the graphics card with the PCIe slot and insert it. Then secure the graphics card with screws. Plug in the power and turn on the switch. Connect the Thunderbolt cable to both the dock and the computer. After connecting the external device, we check whether the external graphics card is recognized in the device manager. We searched in the device manager. Expand display adapters. The external GPU shows up as a Microsoft basic display adapter. This is caused by a driver mismatch. We need to download new drivers. Not the laptop version. You should download the desktop version. Download the corresponding driver. Install the new driver. Install using the default configuration. Now check the device manager and you should see that the 4060 GPU has been recognized.